4 coming up soon, January 21st, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Events, of course, organized around the country in honor of Dr. King and all he stood for. Here to tell us about the events happening in our area to get ready for is Deborah Porter from the Martin Luther King Commemorative Commission. It's so good to see you. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, you for having me. Oh, absolutely. You've been busy planning. So first, for people who don't know exactly what you all on the commission do, let's talk about your purpose. All right. The purpose of the commission is actually to um, bring all these events together for King Week, Lori. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why we do it is that uh, we know that it's been important to uh, celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Mm -hmm. King for, for many years. And this is our 37th celebration. Wow. Yes, so time is flying. Um, but we bring together a lot of uh, community volunteers mm -hmm. and we work tirelessly just about all year, at least nine months to make it happen for January. Yes, you do, and like we said, it's almost <laughs> here, so talk to us about some of these events that you've been working on and how people can take part. Right. Well, our, our theme this year is the courage to lead with a greater determination. Mm -hmm. And so we're you know, really proud of uh, thinking about courage and the determination to lead and what all uh, happens in, within that uh, realm of courage, if you will, because Dr. King was all about being courageous. Mm -hmm. And so, Actually, we will start on the 16th, January 16th, with our interfaith service that will be at Church Street United Methodist Church at the corner of Henley and Cumberland, I believe. And, and that will be at 12 noon. And then Thursday, January the 17th, is our big uh, affair, the big luncheon. Mm -hmm. We are sold out for our luncheon. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That's a good problem That's to have. That's a good problem to have. Sold out. Um, but actually, um, we will have an 8.30 program, which are, is our leadership symposium. And so when we have that leadership symposium, those that come will usually stay for, for the luncheon. And this year, it's at Rothschild's Catering Center. We had to switch the venue because I think Hotel Knoxville is having their um, uh, ballroom renovated. Big changes. Big changes. Yes, but you're in a great spot, so that's yes. good. Yes. All right. Uh, let's talk about, I mean, obviously we know the legacy that Dr. King left behind. He walked toward the problem and not <laughs> away from it. Let's, uh, tell me more about your thoughts on why this is so critical. I, I just believe, Lori, that it's important for us to not only commemorate, but celebrate. Mm -hmm. We need to celebrate because of our, our youth and our children. They need to know, you know, what he stood for. And it was for all people, mm -hmm. you know, black, brown, yellow, um, you know, the whole, the nine whole nine yards, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so he, he really stood for um, the, um, the poor, the indigent, you know, those that uh, are left behind. But more so than that, you know, he, he, it was just his heart. Mm -hmm. He just believed that everybody should have an equal opportunity. It's a great point at which to end. All Thank right. you so much for Thank being you here. For Your eloquent me. words, we appreciate it. Bo? All right.